Welcome to Golden Truth Tarot. Before I get started with today's video, I want to remind you that on my website at www.goldentruthtarot.com, you can find the highest quality crystals and natural gemstone jewelries. Everything is handmade by me. You can find different bracelets, you can find rings, you can find necklaces, you can also find earrings as well. And you can also find different sets made of bracelets and earrings. They come in this beautiful gold box with a little black bow on top and they make the perfect gift. If you're interested, shipping is worldwide. Just go on my website. You can find the link under this video or you can find it on my page as well. Some products are also listed on my Etsy shop, so you can check out my Etsy shop and the link is again on my page. Thank you so much and now let's get started with today's video. Hi Virgos, welcome to your July reading. Now let's get started with the first week of July because this is going to be a fantastic week. A week that is going to bring you victory, is going to bring you success, you're moving in the right direction, you're feeling proud about yourself, you're also helping and inspiring other people around you. Anyone who meets you or works with you, they feel like you are the only person that they know that you have your life together, you have the answers, you know what to do, and they feel motivated by that. They feel inspired. Some of you Virgos might be accomplishing a big milestone in your career with goals that you had for yourself, um, plans for yourself, you're, you're moving in the right direction and you're very proud about everything that you've done. For some Virgos, if you are in a relationship, this can also be a milestone in your relationship. So you can either move together, plan to move and live together. Others might, might get, might get a, a proposal during this first week of July. Some, some Virgos might even plan uh, to get married, or if you have planned already to get married in the first week of July, this is going to be uh, an amazing time for you because you feel so connected. You feel like you both have the same goals. You have found your soulmate. You have found the person who truly understands you. You feel equal. You feel good. You feel like this relationship is very healthy and very balanced. And you're excited. You can't wait to walk this uh, life journey with this person next to you. We also have a new moon in Cancer on July 5th. And the new moon is all about new beginning, starting something fresh, starting something new, especially the cancer energy is connected with home, with a home, with family, making your life as comfortable as possible at home. So for some Virgos might even be just the fact that you can afford to pay your own bills and you finally have your own place your own apartment that you can afford that you are fully independent that that um, you're living by yourself you're doing what you want to do you have complete control of everything in your life and you feel you feel like you've you've made it you feel like you have found a, a way to uh, to be productive and still save and still manage everything so just even the most simplest things that for some people can be very difficult and very challenging you have accomplished so well and you feel so in peace and you feel so good that this this can be a fantastic week for that as well to do some changes in your home maybe to make it more comfortable to make your home more more homey more welcoming for yourself the second week is all about now that you know where you're headed, now that you know what you want for yourself, now is also the time to be very vocal and very clear with others as well in terms of who you are. If someone refers to you, talks to you, and 
is basing the way they treat you on your past self, on how you used to be, of things that you have done in the past. Now is the time for you to set new boundaries for yourself. Now is the time to let people know, no, this is who you are right now. Okay. You're not your past mistakes. You're not who you used to be. This is who you are, this new and improved version of you. Let them know. Let them know with your own voice. Don't be afraid to speak up. Don't be afraid to set those boundaries. Don't be afraid to fight for for respect and for what you think you deserve from others. That is very important. Your words can be can be either healing but can also be your your biggest weapon at at times and if you feel like you've been attacked then uh, that is going to be important for you to stand your your ground and to start to start basically this new chapter with the ace with confidence and determination and that is going to cause some that that is going to uh, cause some explosive behaviors around you especially in the third week. Um, the third week, something is happening during this week, Virgos, something that is going to cause some sort of problem, a fight, a disagreement. Something will come out of nowhere just because you you were strong, you were determined, you spoke your mind and everything. Someone will have a problem with that. Um, it, it's a lot of fire energy. It's a lot of anger you see someone just reacting out of nowhere um someone who has maybe their uh, mars sign in either aries or their ascendant in aries is going to happen around the full moon and the full moon is known to bring emotions to the surface they've done research and they've seen that also during a full moon more crimes happen and 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 um is a time where we get mostly very emotional and and explosive so um this has to do something in with that full moon in capricorn during july 21st it has to do with other people with your work with your career with people that you are connected through work through your uh, through business through common goals and interests and some people might not like that and it's going to come out of jealousy is going to come out of envy is going to come just out of the fact that you've been so blessed and so abundant that uh, it's going to reveal the true colors of some people some people that were hiding maybe some people that were pretending because i see that this wasn't a solid friendship or a solid foundation that you had with these people i see that they were always shaky you never knew clearly if they had your best interests at heart or no but now it's going to be very obvious the way they will react and they might even make you feel bad like, oh you think you're better now you think you're better than us you think you can do more you think you're in a better position now you now you're acting this way towards us now you're um now now you think that that, that uh, because you've reached this milestone how uh, you think you can just um leave and 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 forget about us they're they're going to make you feel guilty but it's important to focus on your blessings on the things that the good all the good that is happening in your life and leave the rest behind because it's all coming out of anger and this person might even change their mind the next day they might feel like oh why did i say all of that but for that time in the third week they're just going there's going to be a time then when they're going to explode and everything they have been suppressing is going to come to the surface and from the oracle of the crystals the crystal for you for this month is the green aventurine and the message is a time of good luck and abundance is coming your way 
So the green aventurine is an amazing stone to attract money, abundance, success, prosperity, just a good luck stone. It's an amazing stone to carry if you just want that good energy, if you want material things. It's connected with the sign of Taurus, which is also an earth sign like you are. And it's a very peaceful stone. It's um, the green aventurine. It's it's a stone that really makes you feel abundant, makes you feel like everything good and peaceful. It's a very calming stone as well. You can find this type of bracelet made with green aventurine and also the jade big um the big crystal in the middle is jade, which is also connected with Virgos as well. It's a stone of wealth, health, just a perfect stone. Uh, you can find this bracelet that comes with earrings as well. The earrings made with jade and green aventurine. Or you can find this other set of earrings on my website with jade and green aventurine as well this is just a very lucky very um, good stone one of those beginner stones uh, to attract abundance and good luck and good fortune so i would highly recommend it for the month of july because you're entering such a abundant and blessed um, era in your life but also for any time it's a great stone as well and the last week with the two of wands is an energy all about working with others who truly love you and appreciate you is the energy of planning for the future planning for uh, things that you are happy about for things that you're excited about it's also this energy of love and romance i see a lot of a lot of chemistry those of you virgos who are in a relationship uh, you're you're going to go through a time of love passion just feeling very connected with one another planning for your future together planning for the things that you want uh, it's an uh, it's an amazing time for the two of you for others this is also a time that you're going if you're if you're single during july by the end you're going to by the end of this month you're going to have so much attention so many compliments so many people trying to uh, take you out on a date that you're going to feel just the, the world is your oyster <laughs> you're in the center of the, the the focus is all around you so now it's your choice who you decide to give a chance who you decide to go out with or um or or see who you like but you're thinking about different things you're enjoying the fact that you have all these different options great time to start a business with someone to collaborate this is also a great time to discuss future plans um a great time to just prepare for the things that you want okay but long-term planning not for the next week or a couple of months plan for the long run this is the best time for you to plan to plan because also mercury mercury enters virgo on july 25th so you're going to be in your energy and you're going to feel very smart during this time very analytical very clear with your thoughts with your ideas and you're going to be able to um, make a lot of things happening multitasking at its finest during this time you're going to be able to work and do so many different things uh you're going to have so many different ideas you're going to feel like everything is fast fast moving okay let me do this let me do this let me um let me make this happen we also have mercury direct the whole month so it's it's a fantastic time for you to get a lot done for you to plan for you to write things down for you to get organized because you're going to have a lot of energy a lot of a lot of energy 
because we also have Mars in the sign of Gemini on July 20th. So Virgos will have a lot of energy on July and, the, and you will get more done during this month than probably throughout the whole summer <laughs> during this time. Yeah, July, July and, and August for as long as those transit last, you're going to have a lot of energy. So enjoy. Uh, I wish you good luck. If you liked this reading, please give me a like, a comment and share it with other people as well. Thank you so much for watching and I see you next time. Bye bye.